Welcome back to Max Reaction. Are you having a great day? I am, and it's a very special day because apparently we're going to learn about the history of the world, I guess. I guess. I don't know. There's so much history to the world, like how it's been created, how, uh, how countries have been formed, religions have been made, all this crazy stuff throughout history and I guess we're gonna learn it in one video. I know it's a highly popular video. 70 million current views and counting. No doubt it'll go over 100 million easy. So let's check it out. Let's see what we can learn. I'm kind of excited. Let's do this now. Hi, you're on a rock floating in space. We are. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. I can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. <laughs> I'm sad. I miss you. How did this happen? A long How? time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like sure. I said, it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. Well, that was past. What happened? Forget this. Oh. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. Yes. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And How that's exactly started? where it started. Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Quarks and stuff. Oh, Quarks that's the thing. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. But it's not empty Dark yet. Matter. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Woo. Great news. The quarks are now happily married in groups of three called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around too that wants to join in but can't because it's still too... Electron. Woo. Great news. The protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great news. The electrons have now joined in. Congratulations. The world is now a bunch of gas in space. Oh. But it's getting closer together. There you go. And it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. Millions of years. New shit just got made. Some stars <laughs> burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some Ooh. brand new, way crazier shit. Space stars! Which allows new, <laughs> interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into Even crazier space stars! So now stars have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Oh. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks. Yeah! And it kind of made a mess, which is... <laughs> Weather update, it's raining rocks the moon. from space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather update, cooler temperatures today and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update, it's raining. <laughs> Severe flooding alert, the entire world is now an ocean. Oh no. Okay, no alert. That's land. Need that land. What? Something's alive in the ocean. What is oh, it? Cool, like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from gnarly space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks or whatever. I gotta stop this for just a moment because it's going so fast and I don't want to miss much, but it's just crazy when you watch those first couple minutes of how the Earth was made, how much stuff had to come together, how much stuff had to come together just perfectly, and boom, we have Earth, and then we have life, and then we're going to see what else we have. Let's keep on going on with the video. Oh yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions Multiply. written inside itself, telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Secret Tired instructions, living at the bottom of the ocean. Now you <laughs> Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. Side effect, now there's oxygen everywhere and the sky's blue. Need it. Then the earth might have been a snowball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a I say It's a plant. It's a worm and some other types of weird, strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the Cambrian explosion. <laughs> wow, that's animals and stuff. But we're still in the We ocean. need that. Can we go on land? <laughs> Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Woo! Okay. It pretty much is. Now the animals can go on land. Come on, pretty animals, much let's is. go on land. Nope, can't walk yet. And there's no food yet, so I don't care. Okay, we go to walk if there's plants up here. That's Maybe. all. Set some bugs and fish. <laughs> <laughs> Gross my legs. Okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to have babies. Learn to use an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water <laughs> in. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg in the water in the egg. Works it's an fine. egg. Bye bye ocean. Got some and legs, huge, including bugs. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. Oh fuck, now everything's dead. Just kidding, you're the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart, don't worry. Love the dinosaurs. Here comes a meteor. And the dinosaurs are gone. No! 
It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're gonna dominate the world, and one of them just learned how to grab stuff and walk. No, like walk like that and grab stuff at the same time. Coming from an ape. Together to make pointed rocks. Ouch! And set things on fire. Youch! We got the people coming. Which can mean different things. That's a human person. And now they're everywhere. Almost. Evil. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. Well, I guess we're stuck here now. Let's review. There's people on the planet. And they're chasing their food. Fuck it. Time to plant some And land was connected. Yes, I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the food. This is great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Yes. Use metal. It's underground. Woo. Better farming was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers. And the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More food. And more, more people food. to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming. Technology, more baby. It's for more people and now there's business. Floating. Writing. Laws. Power. Society. Society. <laughs> to a dank river valley near you. A Meanwhile, dank out one. in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal? Yes. Introducing bronze. Made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know, my dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess no what? No Tinland? Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, China. And did I mention? It is civilization. <laughs> the Middle East is getting more complicated. Yeah, it because is. Because it's in the middle of the East. Knock, knock, or er, clop, clop. It's the people with the horses. And they made an empire. And then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks! Ah, oh, look, it must be the Greeks. Or a empire sounds good. The Greeks. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? They're gone. <laughs> in India. Maybe it's those horse people who's talking about or their cousins or something. <laughs> And they wrote some hymns and mantras and oh, stuff. Yes. make a religion out of this. Oh, There's yeah. the Bronze Age collapse. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. Also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Iron. Back to Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10-step program. Here's some huge heads. <laughs> Must be the Olmecs. The Phoenicians make some colonies. The Greeks copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Colonies it's everywhere. It's the Babylonian media. It's the Persian Empire. Wow, that's big. Ah, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy, who's, who's the Buddha for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make religion out of this. Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was... And on a side note, I hate to stop this, but I have to because it's, he's speaking so fast. Um, most, if not all, religions made and created to control people. You know, that's just my opinion. I don't know, you may disagree with it, but... What does religion do? It controls the way you think, the way you act, the way the way you interact with people. Think about it, guys. Think about it. Figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. Knock knock, it's Chandra Gupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks, bye. 500 elephants. Most of it, yeah. <laughs> but what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? Merchants, probably. And they've got spices. Woo. I'd like to buy the spices. Me, said the Arabians, swiftly. Yeah, rich and selling spices the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Yay! Actually, their three main philosophies. Out here, the horse nomads <laughs> run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. Genghis Khan? Is that. Let's check the Greekification brain? levels of the Greekified oh. kingdoms. Greekification overload. Mm -hmm. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, said the Romans, eating the entire Mediterranean for right. breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said Power. the Jews. Power. Starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more right. popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. True. They just made a brand new world to the world. Or you can get the wrong water. Sick. New trade routes, said India, accidentally spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good place to Accidentally. There goes Buddhism traveling up the south. No accident. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. Remember the Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. <laughs> China, Once was a beautiful island. I don't know if it is anymore. Again. 
Madagascar. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try camels. Hell yeah, now we got business. A new ride. Empire, some lots of gold. And slaves. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire, and I was wondering, is loving Jesus legal yet? No. Is it legal yet? Actually, no. okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. It's it Oh, it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall hard. There's the Gupta Empire. Not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. The first. <laughs> Guess who's in Rome? Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. Or actually just half of it. The other half Hell. is just fine. But it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. The Mayans have figured out the stars. And then they disappear. So, here's a huge city population, <laughs> everyone. The Goat Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Goat Turks. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back together. Broken How's back the together. Kingdoms? Bigger and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Oh, this Japan is an awesome kingdom. history the sunrise lesson. kingdom. Uh, in the Arabian desert, on the top of a mountain, the real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. Allah. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods, and he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this, and maybe conquer the world as well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus Lots of religion. Boom, boom, boom. I wonder if there's room for mores. Here's all the wisdom. In a house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Just yes. in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Said sure. the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. Want to get enlightened in the middle of nowhere? The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe, <laughs> and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise! You're the new Roman Emperor, said the Pope, pretending Surprise. to say the Roman Empire. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners, or just Norse if you don't have much time, are exploring. They go north, from the north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. Iceland, Greenland. They also invade some other places and get called many names, such as Vikings. There's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't think so, said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New kingdoms. <laughs> Which definitely Germany. Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks, <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We need help. They need help. So call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. My little man interrupted. He's here. He wants to finish the video with me, so let's continue. Big. Crusade. They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail, but at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mike. Gotta get those, Hello, gotta get those deals. Mines. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. Wow. I always wondered how to build a town and a cliff. Guess who's now here? You know. here? Where? Here. And Pagan is there. Vietnam unconquered itself, Korea just became itself, and Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented just bombs. Maybe. Typing. And the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. Okay, that was that Genghis Khan. a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongols. I was a little early Because last they were time. busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this Chad. It means lake. There's an empire there. Right in the middle of the... The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. Don't the do Christians it. Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in Spain later to see Portugal. if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. Oh, China's whoops. back, yay. Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Yay! Oh, he's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art and the ancient classics. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer. Let's make books. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yes, books, the books, Ottoman books. Turks. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to find another way. Find another way. Wait, said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way. <laughs> Maybe. No, don't worry. We're Tyrant. Said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey, Spain, want to hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please, no, please, no, please. Okay. So he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean and then discovers the Indies and Japan. Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families they might have to start marrying each other. Move over, Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great again. Move over, Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia Lots of invasion. Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The wow. I thought the first guy should have been the other guy. 
Hey Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 <laughs> reasons why, said Martin Luther in his uh, new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. Just you know maybe. Magnificent, said Suleiman, wearing an onion hat. What if the Ottoman Empire was really big, which it is now? What if Russia was Huge. big, said Ivan, trying not to be terrible? Portugal had a dream that they oh, he's the entire right. Indian Ocean, <laughs> including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, right. said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one. Can you get to through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two. Steal Please the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Shh. Uh, Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen. In the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next thing on Russia's to-do list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, who should? Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, <laughs> giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Britain. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. So they start taxing the hell out of America. Fuck you, says America, declaring their That's right. Fighting for Get it. out of here. Helps them win. <laughs> France is broke. And Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is Australia? broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You can make a religion, no, don't. <laughs> Haiti is starting to like the idea. Everybody's heads get cut off there. who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't we think of this before? Wait, who's in charge of France now? Said Napoleon, trying to take over Europe. Luckily, they banished him to an island. But right. he came back. Luckily, they banished him to another island. There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Independence. Britain just figured out how to turn steam into power. So now they can make many different types of machines. Getting high tech. With machines in them, so they can make a lot of products. Industrial explosion. Then they invent some trains, and conquer India, and maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain, buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So yeah. Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. But then uh. China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, that island's the casino capital of the world, ain't it? That's just where he lives. India just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. Telegram. Uh oh. Technology is about to go crazy. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. Bad, bad, and bad, bad. Manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. That's bad I know, too. It's rape Africa bad. Europe, scrambling to see who could rape it the fastest. They never got Ethiopia. Britain and France are still hungry. They never got Thailand. The United States <laughs> ran out of like the whisper manifest, so they're looking for more. Hi, Cuba. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they blame the right. main on Spain. Now we're in business. To celebrate, they kicked Panama out of Panama. Dirty, dirty business. Now, connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is actually weaker China. and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War One. Look at Let's those. Let's have guns. another war. It's going to be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's over, second Germany. One. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism in the Soviet Union. The Arabs revolt and Britain helps. Now the Ottoman Empire is gone so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Hopefully the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, <laughs> carving up the remains of the not-so-Ottoman anymore empire. The humor of this. And then the Saudis conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. Right. The great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Germany's back. Boom, Germany Great Depression. An angry mustache model. And he's mad at the Jews for Hitler. Existing. Japan is finally conquering the East, and they're so excited they raped Nanking way too hard. They should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea. But he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's pretty much what happened. Bonus round. Pacific Showdown. United States versus Japan. Fight. Fight. World War II. Oh my goodness. Let's unite all the nations and have some world peace. Oh. Seems legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to starve myself in public. Wow, that worked. Bonus, now there's Pakistan. Actually, two Pakistans. One of them could be Bangladesh later. Right. The Jews and Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same time. Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Psych! They both get angrier. Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Communism. No thanks, said the other China, escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. 
There's the Korean War. Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins. Then it's on pause forever. Right. The sponsors. Oh, Still on pause. global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Woo! Wait, wait, no, Cold that will war. be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and yeah. spy on each other instead. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll race you to space. Now let's make some more countries fight themselves. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents. It's what happens? Pillaging, you're tired of being pillaged. Terrible. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad. Very bad. Agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Boom! Oh! Technology's better too. That might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll remember yeah. that. Phone call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Want to learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer. Technology just... just... Pocket. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail, because they're not supposed to. Surprise, they fly fell. robots. With They're bombs. gonna fill again, too. Your brain. Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, <laughs> said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a uh. thing inventor. That's pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we? <laughs> oh my goodness. That, my friends, was a masterpiece. That, my friends, was hilarious. There were so many jokes in there that were true. That were really true. Um, so, you know, we formed out of nothing basically. Finally grew a pair of legs, grew a pair of hands, and um, yeah, the world is, especially this world, this world, a lot of war, a lot of death, a lot of power hungry nations and people, and it's just kind of disgusting but it's human nature it's our nature to be that way and no we don't like it a lot of us don't like it but that's it is what it is but he was correct about a lot of things and religion you know it's made to control people for the most part if you know that's just my opinion and that was a big thing of this history religion was born there religion was born there religion was born there religion was born there and it's, it's, it's made to control people, that's what it is. But anyway, the history may be dark, very, very dark, but maybe we can change the future a little bit. But we all know history repeats itself. So, like towards the end when he started talking about the big banks aren't supposed to fail and they did, well that was their own damn fault. And it's probably going to happen again, probably soon. That's just a, I'm going to throw that out there, that's my opinion. But anyway, when that happens, who knows what will happen, where this world will go. It's kind of scary to think about. But those are just some of my thoughts, some of my feelings, some of my reactions. I absolutely love the video. Um, I don't think it could have been made any better than what it was, especially with the humor. And as fast as he covered it in 20 minutes, um, give the guy all the credit and go watch his content on his channel for sure. But... This video probably should be showed in schools and everywhere because, I mean, it covers stuff real quickly, but it covers a lot, a lot in 20 minutes. So I absolutely loved it. And anyway, those are my thoughts. If you disagree with me, agree with me, you want to add something to it, definitely comment down below and we can discuss it. I love the comments. But if you like the reaction, hit that subscribe button, like it, dislike it, whatever you want. And I'll see you next time. Peace.